What's going on guys? It is your boy Angus the Gamer. Before I start this video, I just want to say that there is an extra 5% on Aptoid if you use the code PAL or CAPS in your AppCoins wallet, you'll get an extra 5%. So that's a total of 10% from just code PAL. Uh, check out this video if you don't know how that works. It's amazing. If you want to make money back while spending money in Castle Clash, this is the way to do it. Enjoy the video. What's going on guys, it is your boy Angus again. And just a quick video this morning to uh, talk about the new hero coming soon. Uh, we don't know because of the server merge, we don't exactly know when these heroes are released. Uh, but we've got some information here and uh, she reminds me a lot about Cinder Machen. So here she is, um, Flut Flutterell? Flutterella? Flutterell? Like Cinderella? Cinderell? Flutterell? I don't know. Skill description uh, deals X% attack damage to enemy targets along a straight line in front. For X seconds, increase their damage received by X% and greatly reduces the crit resist. During this time, increases X friendly heroes' crit damage by X% and allows them to remove X energy from X nearby heroes every X seconds. Cooldown X seconds. This hero is immune to silence and cannot receive more than X damage per, per hit. When her HP is less than X percent, she recovers HP equal to X percent of her max HP every X seconds for X seconds cooldown X seconds. The X is actually a 10, so I should read 10 for everything on there. But that is what she looks like, uh, you've probably seen in the thumbnail. Um, she's gonna immediately be released with two skins, it seems like. I would think that this is the normal state. This is the evolve. Oh no, not two skins. Um, I mean, um, one skin because you've got the normal state, the ev the evolved, and then the skin. Um, that's my thoughts on that one. Um, so Flutterell. So if you look at, keep what in mind what I just read there about the skill, and then uh, check out this one. Deals a total of 460 percent. Okay, let's get that to 15 deals. A total of 2,380 percent attack damage to to at most 10 enemy units along a straight line in front exactly the same as the other one go down three seconds this hero has a 10 percent base crit rate always to do with crit when she performs a normal attack her crit damage increases by 1.5 times and she gains immunity to stun both for the next four seconds cooldown six seconds Critical hits from hero skill and attacks reduce damage received by 70% for the next 4 seconds and restores her HP by 45% and energy by 60% cooldown 6 seconds. Base crit damage, base crit damage is 1.5 times of attack. So I think what Castle Clash is doing, because we've always been asking um, for them to allow legendary heroes to be... I don't know why this is happening. I've been struggling with that. Legendary heroes to be triple evolved into an epic hero. And they never agreed to that. But I think what they're doing is they're taking all the legendaries and making epics. A carbon copy epic of that. But the carbon copy got smudged. So it's just a little bit different than the um, legendary. Because this is Cinder, this is Cinder Machen, The epic version of that. And um, when you look at all the epic heroes, I, I do feel that there is, if you go through all of these epic heroes, I do feel like there is a distinct something that links each epic hero to a different legendary hero. I don't know why. This one, Little Nick, maybe. Um, Axe Punisher, I'm not too sure. Uh, but, uh, I mean... Think about it. All of these heroes have some sort of link to all of these heroes. And I'm sure if you go and sit and read and match them up, you'll find it. But that's the new update coming. And I don't know when the update's coming. Um, they're not clear on that. Before the server merge, the update would be here right now. This is after the server merge, so that's not happening. I just want to check the Russian server because the Russian server was the one that was ahead of our servers. 
Uh, it's not saying anything. Usually it would say, okay, uh, there's something coming. Ah, okay. There's nothing there. There's nothing on the Taiwan server either, so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, tell me what you think. I just, the, the, the whole way the server merge w is working, I'm not a fan of it. I am not a fan of it. For one, why is one closed and the other one is open? Is that because it gets too busy? Well, if you only open up one stream, that stream is going to get congested. Open up two streams for less congested. So I don't know what the point is of that. Our packs, ever since the server merge, sucks. Uh, we don't have the same packs we usually have. The accumulation is much different. Um, I don't know. There's just something about the server merge that is uh, that I don't like. And now the updates. Now they've taken that away from us. Now uh, 16th is usually the update and that's gone now. We don't get any information ahead of the time, which is nice, you know. Um, some people would say, yeah, but why would we just wait for the update? I know. I know. We have to. But it's nice to get a jump on the update, you know. To know just a tiny bit more about when that's happening and what's happening before it happens. It's nice to be prepared, you know. Uh, but that's not the case. Hey, I forgot to mention there's a 5% extra. Uh, if you use code PAPAL on Aptoid, it ends today. do that check out this video if you don't know what that is and how that works all right well that's gonna be it for this video um, I don't know if you enjoyed it if you would enjoy it if you are gonna enjoy it if you will enjoy it are you enjoying it right now I don't know but that's gonna be it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it please remember to leave a like subscribe and I'll see you guys in uh, the next video thank you for watching and goodbye